good evening friends this is pradeep kumar for engineering clinic so today we are going to see a protocol called as tora so which is nothing but temporarily ordered routing algorithm so this is the protocol tora so you can refer online for how it is working so it is based on uh, reverse linking and also on uh, timing based protocol so it is developed in the year 1997 uh, mainly for manets it works on it works on the protocol called as imap uh, internet manet encapsulated protocol so ns2 implements these two things ns2 implements tora.cc tora.h and imap.cc and imap.h by default tora will not be running we have to do some modifications for working Tora protocol so this protocol we will be seeing so this protocol we will be demonstrating today so before that so step number one is generate a scenario for Tora protocol using uh, NS2 scenario generator so we will call as NSG called as NSG software we will do that so first thing is we will do that so here the command is java space hyphen jar NSG I have in downloads so we have a software called as NSG 2.1 so java space hyphen jar NSG and jar so here we get the scenario so if you want to know more about this software you know you just check my another video so here a new wireless scenario first we have node agent application parameters tcl all these things so we will create some nodes here so we create so many nodes then we go to agent so in the agent we can create tcp tcp here so we will create some three tcp agents ok so then tcp there and we have to have a parallel tcp sync so this tcp sync this tcp sync and this tcp sync after that join a tcp and a sync you can see there is a red color line indicates that both are uh, connected virtually and this TCP with this sync so if the red color is not there we will be getting some error ok now come to the application so application always starts uh, we have two applications FTP and CBR we will go with FTP start time is 1 and the ending time is 2 we give as 10 1 to 10 so always the source will be generating the packets so click the source just drag it and click the source and drag it click the source and drag it and then come to parameters so in the parameters here what is the file name you want out.tr or out.tan edit basically then wireless here we have all the channel type propagation wireless physical layer what is the mac you want to use all these things and here we have a routing protocol colors bsdv dsr or avdv tora so select tora here uh, save as default and done then finally you create the tcl file and save as save as this tcl file and save it as tora.tcl so save it so once it is saved we will run this file ns tora.tcl this is the file so you can see that we got some error 
the first thing we got is port demons we have got some errors okay so we got some errors here port demons and we have got so many errors here so these errors are due to the uh, modification we have not done in the imf.cc uh, and uh, tora.cc and tora.h protocol so we'll be doing the modifications here so as per our thing step one we have done it and we have created a tcl file using msg 2.1.jar to run the command we have the command called as java space hyphen jar msg 2.1.jar so this is the command so now we are going to do the modifications so in the modifications what we do is step number two modifications in three files three files so what we do is so here are the files three files then we do the modification so i already have pasted here so what are the modifications that we can do so here you can see tora tora.cc this file and tora.h file and in the imap we have imap.cc file these three files need to be modified you can see the location of these files so first change is tora.h so you have to create in protected mode you have to create this file just copy this open this file as 2.35 ms 2.35 tora open both the files tora.cc tora.h now in the tora.h go to the agent so this is a tora agent somewhere at the end of this agent <coughs> yeah so what you can do is protect it and paste this maybe you can give a tab over here so that it, it will be in the protected class so first we do the protected mode so maybe added by Pradeep okay. do these modifications here then you come back here first is change is done the second change is we are using port demux now you remember that we got some error called as port demux error you can go and see the command here we got port demux so this command is not found so we are just enabling this command so what we do is from here to here we will copy here so here open the tora.cc include the following lines in the command function so somewhere in the command function we just include this uh, in the following function okay so there we'll be enabling the port demux so what we do is we go to tora.cc find the command function so this is a command function so the command function will be inputting this so we'll go and check it so it is argument vector of one so we'll just check it so here argument vector of one we see where we have to choose the modifications so the figure below so i just put it in my block so that we can check then which figure it shows okay so we'll go here somewhere go to the end of this uh, yeah so here uh, so we have image agent we have eq we have dog target, lock target, all these things are there. So now under this, we will just add our thing. So what we do is just from here to here. Easily handle this so now shows and uh, return this area. We have done it, so we have here yeah, D max. Okay, D max we have this and this return this here. so from here to here we have added this so for understanding that you have done the modification so what you can do is 
again you will get like error by 30 and you can do another modification here error by 30 so between these two lines whatever is we added so we have just added okay so this is the second change we will be doing so this is the second change we will be doing so actually what this code explain is uh, if the argument vector is port dmux then port classifier it create an object of argument vector 2 and if uh, the dmux equal to 0 then it will return the standard error else return tcl ok so that means this port dmux will become enabled for tora protocol ok so now third change we have to do in the imap.cc file so the imap.cc file in the file imap will change the following line so this line has to be replaced with this line so this is for regarding the current uh, the timing so that means it is regarding the temporarily order protocol so everything will be on uh, this timing so this timing we are doing so re retransmission at minus current time is less than this means the remix timer starts at this or else it will uh, start at the current time so that's what so i will open this now control o so we have to go to ns 2.35 imap that's the protocol imap so somewhere here we have somewhere here so, such a long line so better that we will find out with the help of this this line uh, remix timer so first we will find out this line control c go here nimap.cc file find out where it is so here this what it has so this has to be replaced with our line so first we go here just copy from here to here and see and come back here and paste it so this is the place that we have done it so we have done the third modification also so after the third modification we have done once uh, we have to do the make changes so what we do is the changes are made so now what we do is we have done the changes so we have to recompile ms2 so now the step 2 is done step 3 we need to recompile ms2 using the command make from this folder ns i1 to n35 that's it so what is the command is yeah now this is the command now what we do is cdns 2.35 cdns 2.35 and make so we got some error tmux was not declared in this code port class fit does not have type so we got some error in tora.cc file line number 46 we will check it yeah i found out the issue so what we have to do is we have to include this uh, header file so control c go to tora.header file so here this header file has to be included ok so now again we will come back here type make so now we do not get any error here so that means it indicates that everything is compiled fine so we do not have any error so now what we have done is we already created the simulation file so we'll go back here so what we have done is so step number four is run the tcl file now using the command ns tor order tc this file is generated in step 1 so this file you run it so again we go to the command the file is in home folder ns tor order tc now you can see the number of nodes is set to 18 and inside the list head now it is working fine so in the beginning the same file was not running but after we do the recompilation of tora.cc file and imap.cc file and tora.header file now this simulation is working fine 
So since an, as per the number of nodes and as per the port DMUX, it takes some time to get compiled. I mean compiled uh, to interpret it. We'll wait. Once the terminal is up, then we'll check the network animation. So now we are back. So now the simulation is running successfully and we got the uh, simulation file. So as we have seen, the same file what we generated here. Let's see this. Uh, this is the uh, GUI that we got generated. So this is the file we generated. Total number of nodes are 18. And you can see this here. We got this number of nodes 18. So both are same. And now we'll run the simulation. Now our time number one, the simulation starts. And this is how the simulation works. So this is based on this Tora protocol. So any Tora protocol, whenever you want to run any application, you can sim simply run the application and then uh, simply change the protocol to Tora. After you do the modification, you can start working on it. So similarly, you can able to find the throughput and all other uh, performance characteristics like you computed for IOD, VDSR, DSDV, Tora, everything you can able to do. So I'm just closing this window. And even it generates as a trace file. So what we do is you just see that there are two files you got generated out.tr and uh, out.nam. So the out.nam only we have run it now. Yeah, out.nam. So now when you open out.tr you can see that how it got generated. So now we can see the Tora generates the protocol. It generates the file. So you can see IMAP also it generates. Because Tora just works on IMAP, so it just gives what kind of query it sends. So Tora usually how it happens is it just sends, uh, it just sets its height value based on some query. So every node will try to find out the query. So it is a source initiated protocol. So that means from the source, the destination will be found out by, by sending to each and every node about the height of this particular node with respect to the other node. So similarly, every node will check the height and every node will query the other node. So that's what we call we call query here. So send query like this. So this is a Tora protocol that just enabled in this example. So if you want, you can use it. So now what I do is uh, I will give all these files to you to you for your simulation. So what you can do is copy the Tora.cc and Tora.h file in your ns-2.35 slash tora folder simply you don't know no need of doing any modification just copy paste it then copy the imap.cc file into the ns-2.35 slash imap folder and then copy the tora.tcl file in your home folder or any folder then do the compilation like make and then run the tora.tcl file using ns tora.tcl that's it so thanks for watching my video Please subscribe and click the bell button for further updates.